Today is December 1st and it is World AIDS Day or World AIDS Awareness Day. Let's talk about AIDS with compassion and hope because AIDS treatment has come such a long way over the years. So I wanna talk about what it is, what the progression looks like, why it would progress, and how often somebody should get tested for HIV according to uh, the CDC and other recommendations. I'll also put below in the description uh, where people can go for free or reduced cost to get HIV testing done. I recently got some feedback about my videos from somebody who really wanted to give me some good information to think about, and I agree with her, and that is that I, I explain things too much with too much detail. So I'm gonna try to just go around the perimeter with these things. I know that it's not always necessary to go into the weeds with everything. It's only because I like to go into the weeds with all kinds of details because I find it so interesting, but that doesn't mean that the majority of people like that. So I'm gonna work on that starting with this video. Okay, I'm also going to try to stick with my notes and not go off uh, into Never Never Land into other things. What is HIV? HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus. It does not, uh, you can't catch AIDS, you catch HIV. It does not automatically go into AIDS, but it will if left untreated. HIV targets the body's immune system. So it comes into the body the same way it always has, which is unprotected sex, dirty needles or shared needles, uh, pregnancy, breast feeding, breast milk goes to children, and delivery. Untreated HIV slowly destroys the immune cells, weakening the immune system over time. This damage to the immune cells in the immune system happens over quite a bit of time. It doesn't happen immediately. And when a person is diagnosed from HIV to AIDS, usually is when their CD4 count drops below a certain number, like say 200, for example, or the person advances into AIDS-related pneumonias and cancers. With treatment, HIV usually never turns into AIDS. HIV treatment, though, requires a person to be really diligent about taking their medication every single day. Back in the day, I remember in the 80s and the 90s, people had handfuls of pills that they had to take on a daily basis. Medications today are a bit more forgiving and people are usually on one, two, or maybe three medications, but not the whole handful regimen that it used to be at the very beginning. Also, there are now injectables that people can get for treatment for HIV. People are usually treated with their HIV medication as soon as their test is positive. So if somebody has a positive HIV test Monday, they're going to be treated Monday or as early as possible with their antiviral and other medications. Or These medications are safe, they're powerful, and they're life-changing. They offer a life back to that person. We've just come such a long way with modern medicine to even finally, thankfully, develop medication like this where people died from AIDS, children died from AIDS. It really wasn't that long ago. The medication can help a person get to a place that is considered undetectable and undetectable at that time with your provider's discussion into whether or not you're not, a, you're not going to transmit it to other people. So usually it's undetectable means untransmittable, but you need to be following up with your provider to know when that occurs for you. HIV testing is really easy nowadays, and you even can get a rapid finger stick, an oral swab, a blood test that goes to the lab, and there's also a particular lab called an HIV RNA test. It detects the, vi the virus as early as 10 to 14 days after exposure. There's one area uh, that people tend to miss an opportunity of testing, mainly just because they don't know when they should get tested or they think I don't ever need to be tested. I know for a lot of pregnant women, it's standard that they get the HIV test done um, for anybody coming in who's pregnant. But there's also a suggestion from the CDC to get an HIV test at least once in your lifetime between the ages of 15 and 65. Every year, if you're sexually active, every three to six months if you're at high risk. And I would even say 
even if you're married. Just my two cents. Why World AIDS Day still matters and should be recognized? Because millions still don't know their status. They're not sure if they even need to be tested because so many people are out there living with HIV and don't know it. And if they only could get on medication, it will prevent them from advancing to AIDS. World AIDS Day reminds us to support each other with compassion, knowledge, and action. When I listen to some people on YouTube talk about their story of, of, of being diagnosed with HIV, it's often uh, the same type of symptoms, but not always, which is getting sick and not getting better, basically, continuing to feel sick for a really long time. As soon as they think they're feeling better, they're feeling worse again. Remember, getting t uh, tested for HIV is, is very simple, very quick, and treatment is life-saving. Managing the condition of HIV gives people long, healthy lives. I usually do videos about medical topics, myths and facts about medicine, some unfortunate oopsies that have to do with medicine, and, and some fun vlogs too. So if this interests you, please consider subscribing, pass this along to somebody who might want to hear this topic. And you know this part here, it's free. Have a good day.